So we've made it to London and today we're visiting Crom. He's a really brilliant artist and today we're going down to just film an interview with him to tell you more about his jacket, the story behind the piece and really just kind of uh, capture the essence of his work. He's a really great guy, does a lot of uh, digital art tattoos and also has a graphic novel on Patreon. Um, so I'm sure he's got loads of really fun stories to tell. The reason we do these journeys and the reason that we go to meet each artist is because it's really important for us to tell the stories behind each jacket, to let you know what goes on behind each piece and to really capture the essence of that artist's work. Uh, everyone that we work with has amazing stories to tell and it's so easy for us to flip through Instagram and say that's nice that's nice and not really think about what goes behind each piece so for sure what's really important for us is put the artist forward to make them the spotlight just to tell some great stories of what goes on behind each jacket persistent and you have to uh, you have to be a bit stubborn and have a bit of self-conviction because there, there, there will be a lot of things thrown your way where you feel like maybe you're not doing things right or you should you know go out there and get a job as a state agent or whatever you know and, and, and that will happen you know but you should always see these things as stepping stones towards towards your final uh, kind of main goal uh, so no matter what happens just just stick to it I think Persistence is very, very important in this, I think, and, and practice, and I think. Whatever craft you have, you know, there's no magic potion that will make it better at all than practicing, so, yeah. Jacket 
time, but that's so typical of us. When I hear the bass playing, you're on the floor. I just wanna let out my roar. Can't wait no more. Dancing like we're animals. Hands up, up in the air. Jump around like you don't care. And people stare. Just put your hands up. a couple of hours to spare um, but now it's time for us to get the train back to Manchester um, it's always really great coming and visiting a couple of the artists that we work with we got some really 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 great shots with Krom and it's always really interesting to see what goes on in their world in their workspace and just kind of see how their creative mind works see where they get the creativity from what goes on behind each piece that they've created for us and it just kind of adds that extra story behind each jacket that we release and we're really excited, more excited than ever to get the jackets out there because we feel like we've got a solid set of stories to tell and it just gives you a glimpse into the mind of uh, an artist in today's world whether they're on social media, whether they're juggling a million and one projects um, it's always really interesting to see what makes them tick and what makes their artwork come alive. So yeah, it's been a really great day. been an interesting few weeks it's been summer that's always challenging people have been on holiday there's been people coming and going I was away for a while I got back Jess went away so we've been communicating via whatsapp and email and just keeping in touch that way and in the main business again it's been difficult there's a lot of people been on holiday because we deal with in with outerwear it's definitely been more challenging with the hot summer that we've had in England and I think buying habits and the high street have been affected by the weather. While it's great that we have, uh, we've had a glorious summer, uh, it definitely has affected business across the board and everybody I speak to has found that it's been challenging, but things are getting back to normal. And that gives everybody an opportunity to build up some actual momentum now and really get into gear and start working heading towards, for us, the release of more and more jackets uh, and getting out and filming and meeting our artists and spending time with them and getting to hear their stories. It was great to get to go down to London and spend time with Crom. He's a great guy, uh, super talented, and we're just really excited to be working with him. He's just quite unique, I believe, in the way he approaches things. Uh, spending time with him and finding out his history and the things that um, make him tick, the things that uh, motivate and inspire him, the way he works, his workload, um, his routine, and hopefully we'll get to spend more time with Crom and do more great things and hopefully develop more and more jackets and more work with him. The, the overriding thing that I've kind of learned over the last few weeks, you do, you have to put yourself out there, you have to get out. It's very easy to stay in the office and, and communicate through WhatsApp and email and Facebook and, and build relationships that way, but there's nothing better Better than getting to go out there and meet people and get to know them and when you talk face to face ideas come up and opportunities things that you have in common and that you share and inspirations the main thing is to just get out and meet people and spend time with them the other thing is that you have to take the ups and the downs the seasons literally summertime is a time where people are coming and going it's very hard to build any momentum up people have holidays annual leave um, handovers and it does make it quite challenging within business and within the business world it's part of the ups and the downs and of working with teams and and actually when people do go on holiday and go away they come back with a fresh approach and with new ideas recharged and rejuvenated and so it helps to influence and impact the work in different ways again it's been a really interesting couple of weeks i know we've got some really interesting stories in the pipeline and a few bits and bobs that are ongoing we've got some really interesting stories to tell and to share 